<clears throat> hey guys, if anyone is even watching this, and if anyone is, they are probably from my Instagram, because I posted a poll in my stories if you guys wanted to see a video about my hoard, and uh, most of you said yes. And uh, one person who said no said it was a misclick. So here I am doing it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Percy and uh, I am a fairy goblin. I am a mixture. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how to make videos really, so if this sounds extremely awkward and I often don't know what to say, then I am sorry. <laughs> Um, so, I have a lot of things here, uh, most of them are uh, like very natural things like feathers, seashells, snail houses, I think I already said in my Instagram that the most favorite thing for me to collect are snail houses. Uh, they make cool sounds, but I don't know if you can hear hear it on video. Um, but yeah, we'll probably start from the feathers. I collect feathers to make dream catchers because I really, really like them. I collect feathers for that reason and I also collect different beads for that same reason. Uh, uh, so, these are dove feathers. One of my neighbor keeps doves in uh, their yard. And, uh, yeah, there are a lot of those pretty white feathers in the area. Uh, and, yeah, this is just... I don't know what it's called in English. And I also hope that my accent doesn't make your ears bleed. But if it does, I am very sorry. But yeah, this, this thing is from my university and I sometimes use it to grow, uh, grow plants, to let them uh, grow new roots. But I usually just keep it here because it's see-through and pretty. Um, uh, this is a little tin house. My my partner bought it for me. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. And it's not just a house, it's also a box. I don't know if I'll be able to open it with one hand, but I'll try. Yeah, I keep little dried flowers in here. Again, once again, I don't know what these flowers are called in English. And yeah, this house has this little interior in it and I think it's very cute and yes it is shiny because it's um, I think it's thin a thin box in shape of a house and yeah how do I speak human help me please <laughs> um, this thing is for my partner I I'm going to put this on the next gift that I'm gonna give them and yes I am ruining the surprise right now because they are going to watch this video uh, but yeah it just really reminded me of them because it's shiny and glittery and blue and pink and I liked it a lot. I just saw it in the shop and I immediately, immediately thought, yeah, I need this thing desperately. Also, it looks like a tiny flower. Um, I probably won't go through this whole selection of shells and snail houses, but those ones are my favorite because they are big and big and pretty. I found them in the forest when I was in the university. Yeah, 
I hope those sounds aren't annoying, but I like them. Uh, this stone, it has a little hole in it, and it was given to me by my grandfather. He is dead already, but I still keep the stone because I loved my granddad and I like the stone a lot. I I used to wear it around my neck, but it's really heavy and also I don't really wear any kind of accessories on me right now. And this was the gift from my friend. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's very shiny. It has little 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 pieces of metal on it see yeah and that's why I like it a lot and also there are these seashells they are pink and really pretty and I collect them every time I go to the sea they they look like human fingernails and I don't know if this is cool or gross <laughs> ah. This thing is probably my favorite of this whole box. Uh, this is an actual lizard skull. I found it in my backyard and I painted it with the nail polish. And I glued little, little beads on it and I made wings for it. And now it's a little dragon and I really, really like it. Mm. I also have these things, they are... I... English is not my native language, I don't know what it's called. Uh, but it's uh, an old symbol in my country's culture, Ukrainian symbol. I think it's... I can call it Sparrow's Cross. It's like... It's magical, but I don't really remember what it means. Um, also, I have this one. I think it's a snake. I think it's supposed to be a snake, but once again, I'm not really sure. Um, I have a lot of metal charms like this. My friends gave a lot of those to me. I have this star, I have those wings, I have little ballerinas, I have a freaking unicycle. It's supposed to be here somewhere, but I don't know. Uh, this is a little mirror. Hi. Yeah, that's me. Uh, I made it by hand with those little, little beads. Uh, I glued them one by one to the side of this mirror and made a little picture. It I made it for my mom when I was on vacation and I missed her a lot. Um, I also have a lot of a lot of bracelets here that I made myself, like one, two, three, four. Like this, most of those are shambles, but there's one friendship bracelet. And uh, this bracelet I took from my mom because she doesn't wear it anymore. I also don't wear it, but I like it a lot. It's pretty and it has a... It's metal, so it's shiny. And also it has a little white shiny stripe in the middle of it. Yeah. Um... Also, I have this thing. It's a, a locket. It doesn't have any pictures in it, but it's really pretty. You can open and close it. Also, it's supposed to have a little... have a necklace attached to it, uh, but it only has this little piece of chain. I really like this, I don't know, sculpting on its front. It has little leaves on it. It's really pretty. Uh, I hope this video isn't boring for the most people, but it probably is. Uh, 
I also have those little, you know, potion bottles. Uh, one of them is empty, the other one is with little pink. Uh, once again, I'm gonna call them beads, but I don't know what they are really called. And one of them is with a little potion. And I'm not gonna tell you what is in it, but it's been here for a couple of years, so you probably shouldn't drink it anyway. You probably shouldn't in the first place, because it's probably extremely poisonous. <laughs> I'm not good at making potions. Um, also, I have I have a lot of cool, m mediocrely cool rocks here that I found around my house. Well, not around my house, outside. Uh, one of those is supposed to catch rainbows on one of its sides, but I'm not. I won't be able to find it now. I have a lot of little figurines. Uh, this is an rabbit owl. I was given it by my friend and it's its little tummy. It glows in the dark. Um, I have this little... it's a frog. I had it since I was very little and I love it a lot. It's my favorite figurine I own. And I also have this little, little dragon. This was given me by the same friend as this owl. And I also love it because look how cute it is. Like, wow. It has, it has little, little... I don't, I don't know, I don't speak English very well. Um, I have, I have a lot of acorns here. Uh, most of those are pretty fresh because when they get old they fall out of their little little hats and that always makes me sad because I like them better with their hats on sometimes I try to glue them back on and also my voice is already becoming hoarse because I'm not used to actually talking to people with my voice <laughs> Um, I really like this little golden owl, I don't know why, but yeah, I love it a lot. And uh, yeah, there are some leaves that I drew on. There's this one and there's this one. I think I like this one better. And there are also just, just those leaves because I think they are naturally pretty. I didn't draw anything on them. And there's this little poppy box, but it doesn't have seeds in it anymore. Uh, also, I have this tiniest little flashlight. I don't know why I keep it, but I think it's pretty neat, I suppose. <laughs> um, okay, this was this was really chaotic, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is pretty much my first attempt in YouTube, at least in English. And uh, yeah, what do they usually say? Comment down below. <laughs> Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. Don't bully me too much in the comments. <laughs> Bye.